instruments we were playing. So we've started working with Rod, Rod Reader O'Kara, our fabulous rock leader, um, a number of years ago on developing these rock collective projects. And we noticed how popular they were and how they really were having an impact on people. We just wanted to provide the space for adults to like come together in a, in a place where they could be supported and learn at their own pace and join in with like other people. singing the songs and learning about music and it's really nice having a chat with people and that's been a really big help for me, it's helped my self-confidence because I live on my own so this is really nice for me. It's the fact that we can share the music rather than just playing along at home so that's what I was doing for 20 years so we get loads of people. We have different levels, different skills and it sounds brilliant every time. Having left making music and keyboards in my teenage years, got back, started to learn how to sing, started taking singing lessons in a midlife crisis and I thought this would be the ideal opportunity to get together with people, no pressure, relaxed environment and play rock music. One of the most exciting things is just seeing how diverse the range of people we get is, we get um, all sorts of ages, all sorts of backgrounds had a really good range of instruments and just lots of musical abilities as well. People who it might be their first time singing in a group, people who might play in a band, people who might be in choirs or other groups. It's been so lovely just seeing the range of musical talent Birmingham and the West Midlands has got to offer. We have commissioned Birmingham Poet Laureate, Jasmine Gardosi, uh, to write us a new anthem for Birmingham called Brummy Steel. My inspiration with the song has come from jumping into a van with Jez Collins, who is the founder of Birmingham Music Archive and riding around the whole of Birmingham playing all the different music that has come out of Birmingham. All the beautiful mixtures and collaborations and experiments that have come out of Birmingham. We are stronger for our mixture. That in fact it's because of our adversity that we are steelier, really, tougher. I think it's incredible to have all of these groups come together. It's very much symbolic of what Birmingham is, in my opinion. Birmingham's superpower is its glue to draw people from all backgrounds and differences together to become stronger than the sum of their parts. And that's what this project is doing. We're bringing everyone together on July the 14th um, for Brum Rocks Live, which is our massed rock extravaganza, where hundreds of amateur musicians and singers, along with professional musicians and some other people, will be kind of all singing and playing together at the same time in this sort of massed gig. The first time that we will bring it all together will be on the day. So it's going to be very exciting to see how that sounds. What's happening today? We've all come together to host a spectacular event of our singing from everyday normal people on the stage with a fantastic vibe and we're going to enjoy ourselves immensely and have a great, good time as if we're like the uh, celebrities of the music world. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, is it? I'm really surprised. I'm, you know, it's I feel really proud, you know, that people are coming to watch us. It's brilliant, absolutely. Something for Birmingham, put us on the map at long last, yes. We're all getting together to uh, play the songs we've been practising for the last few months. And it's sounding pretty good. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. Yeah. I think coming in and seeing everyone, uh, everyone all lined up on stage for the rehearsal, it's great to see. Um, we've never had like a concert this big before, and it's great to see all the different instruments and uh, new faces as well. We've all waited for for about eighteen months. So exciting! I think some of it waking up in the middle of the night saying, "Have I done this or have I got that?" And um, that's all part of uh, the cutting edge of public performance and, and music, you know, to, to new people. So, yes, a bit edgy, but a, a lot of a buzz when it's all done. I think Brum Rocks really brings everyone together as well. So everyone who sings, musicians, people who uh, wouldn't normally go out in public and do that, um, and people who couldn't sing or couldn't play have learnt to play as part of all of this. And that's great, great for confidence, uh, great for socialisation, so I think it's a fabulous thing.
community. I'm still amazed by the possibilities of community music. And since the beginning of the journey, I think I sort of got the same feeling even during the big event with hundreds of people together, which is uh, how powerful it is. It doesn't matter if it's a group of five people making music together, maybe that they never met before, and uh, they're there for the day, just learning something new together. And if it's 400 or over 400, it's, it's sort of that same amazing feeling, which is crazy powerful. It doesn't matter the amount of voices or instruments. Yeah.